Hello guys, okay, so this is my Halloween haul for 2020 for this year. Although I'm still waiting for Home Depot and Lowe's to bring out their stuff because I did buy something for my garden last year from Home Depot and they do bring really good stuff for the yard. I bought some, uh, what do you call those? They're kind of like tombs, uh, I guess tombstones, but this is what they are. Okay, look at this unique item. It's pretty well made. It's like a um, pelican or something. It's really unique. So I use it throughout the year. It has a really cool look. And I'm hoping this year they do bring some stuff, maybe some gargoyles for my garden, but we'll see. I haven't seen anything yet. This one I got at Home Goods. And that's the door. This one smells really good. It's pumpkin. And um, so far I smelled a lot of them. And this one was the only one that I really liked. This one will be for the bathroom. I got this one also from Home Goods. Home Goods had a lot of uh, soap dispensers that I saw. Like, so there's something for everybody. But I got this one just because I don't have a lot of stuff featuring ghosts. And then from Home Goods as well. I got this skull candle. I usually try to get a skull candle every year. I'm not really crazy about the smell, but um, I just like the look. And then I got another candle. So this one I got at Ross. And I opened one up already, so I bought two. But let me show you this one. To me, this is the most beautiful candle I've ever seen. It's very gothic. So I don't think I'm going to be burning these. I'm just going to be using them for decoration. I mean, why would I want to burn this? Okay, at Ross, I found this mod. It says B Harbor. That's the brand name and they're much cheaper. So this one was $6.99 and compared to Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn, I think they're like $15 because I did buy a Ray Dunn mod, but I had to return it because I didn't really need it but look at this one and i like these better because they're smaller they're not as huge as the ray dunn ones but they look really ray dunn i wonder if there's a copyright infringement or something or, or unless this company is uh related or affiliated with ray dunn somehow because they really look like to me this is ray dunn and another one of these cups um again for the from the bh harbor is this cat very cool looking and then I had to buy something for for my Brom and it says scary cat and this one is going to be for his food I'm going to store his food in here and um, and it matches him really well he's not a scary cat and he's not a black cat but he is a gothic cat and he will be my Halloween cat for this year and also for Brom, I got him a, um, a, a bowl for his food. Look at this. This one is just really beautiful. I knew I had to wait until Halloween to find something uh, for his food, like a bowl. Because I was feeding him from a black plate. It's just really messy and I have to always clean up and make sure there's no food gets left behind. But he shouldn't have problem eating from this one. And it's food safe. And from that same line, I got... Um, two of the bigger bo uh, bowls so because I do find or I do find that when I have gatherings and stuff like potlucks when people bring stuff over I never have anywhere to put stuff in so this one is perfect I could fit a salad in here I could fit pasta and these are just really beautiful and they can be used throughout the year but they just have a gothic vibe that I like I did see some at Ross that the, the paint scratched off or something. So I probably have to be really careful when I wash them. And then I got another smaller bowl. Same, same line with the bats there. So I hope Brom likes his um, bowl as well. And I did go to the 99 cent stores and I did buy some napkin just for everyday use 
throughout the year. Maybe I'll go get more just to stock up for the year. I didn't really get anything as far as decorations for my ancient stores because I didn't really see anything that I liked. So I'm really trying not to get a lot this year. So basically a lot of the stuff that I got is only for kitchen stuff, kitchenware. So I always wait for Halloween to get anything for my kitchen. So these are really cool, I think. And they're only 99 cents. Actually, just 99 cents because as we know, 99 cents stores sell some like they've raised their price a lot um, for, a, for a while now. And then also at Ross, I got this cauldron. I'm not sure what it is for, but it's really nicely made. So this was, they had like five of them. So this was in their plant section. I'm not sure if it's a planner, like you put a plant in here. And then also from Ross, I got this one book. Oh, it's upside down. And it says the Book of Nightmare, and this is really cool looking. And this is the binder here. And you can store stuff in here. See, they're pretty deep. And it's just really cool. I, I love the vintage look and the black uh, color. And then another random thing that I found at uh, 99 cent stores, of course, as we were talking about prices, this was not one, this was not 99 cents, but $10. So, but I really like the gothic vibe this carpet has. See? It has like a cross pattern almost. And this is what it looks like. So the reason why I got this, because I have like a, a rocking chair and I don't want to damage my floor. Okay, so you guys, the uh, carpet does work. I didn't measure it at all. It's just kind of estimated. And it looks perfect for that rocking chair there. And I also have the option of setting it up like this. It equally looks good. I got this rocking chair on offer up. It's supposed to be an antique. But I get it for a really good price. And then another random stuff that I got. Um, again, this is for my house. And this one will be going in the, in the bathroom. Um, I've been looking for a black trash can. This is not made for trash, I don't think. It's by Shabby Sheep. And it says outdoor. I'm not sure what this is for. I thought initially it was for like um, ice or something. But, I don't know. But anyway, it'll go for my trash in the bathroom. And it's small. It'll fit there. It comes with this plastic container. So, and it's, black, and it's black and it looks very vintage. So, this is really cool. And believe it or not, this was, oh, so it does say ice. So, I think it's for ice. But, I'm not going to use it for ice. This was in their clearance section. Um, I was like, really? And it was the last one too. It was the only one there. And I only paid $9 for this. Finally found my trash can for my bathroom. So now I'm going to show you my favorite finds for this year so far. First up from Home Goods is this pumpkin. This pumpkin is really awesome. This is so. I don't know, just really beautiful, I think. And when I saw it, there was only two of them, I immediately grabbed him. I mean, he is so amazing looking. Um, he kind of reminds me of the faces, of those vintage faces they put on the moon or any kind of one of those vintage um, inspired items or truly vintage stuff. So he looks very vintage. He looks like, you know, he takes you back to like the 1930s or something. Um, or even before, prior to that, but he's really beautiful. And, uh, and he, I think he's the most expensive item that I got too, yeah. So he was $20, so, but he's totally worth it. And last but not least is this cutting board. How awesome is this? I looked for this item all throughout last year. I never found this. I did find one, but it was very, um, I don't know, it wasn't, I mean, it was food safe, but it was, it looked too delicate. It just said you could only wipe it with a soft cloth or something. I, I, 
I need to be able to wash it if I'm going to use it and cut stuff on it. It's something that I can use throughout the year and I can use it as a serving. Um, I can use it for serving cheese also, cheese and um, hors d'oeuvres. And that's it for this haul. 